Hi, everyone. Welcome to Triple C University Remote. My name is Candace, and this is Kayla. We are part of the onboarding team here at Triple C, um, and we are so happy to have all of you here. We are here to do a document deep dive with you. So our call is really going to cover detailing documents on events, um, making specific adjustments, such as adding charges, notes, and billing, your terms and conditions as well, and some best practices in sharing those documents. Then we're going to kind of go over going to your site settings and what you would do going to that part of your site, um, make um, site-wide changes for that location and your group, including adding fields to document templates and adjusting design on those document layouts and doing that yourself in your own site. So before we dive into all the information, we just want to introduce ourselves and give you a little background. Yes. Hi, my name is Kayla. As Candace mentioned, I am on the onboarding team at Triple Seat, so I may have worked with you before. I did start in the hospitality industry. I worked in restaurants, hotels, and now I'm at Triple C. I started on their support team, worked on the professional services team, and now I'm on the onboarding team. And I also have a similar background of <laughs> hospitality, um, as we do, so um, great place to be. And I've been there since, like, from the start, restaurants, event venues, wedding planning, and used Triple C for years before coming to the company and joining the onboarding team. I'm now about a year and a half, a little over that ago. Love it. And do know, you know, as we go through all of the material, there is um, a chat feature. We have members of our support team there. Please post any of your questions in there and they'll be able to respond in that chat, if not following our call as well. And um, the recording will be emailed to you tomorrow. All right, so we're going to kick it off here. Awesome. So today we'll start by adding documents to an event. So to add a document to your event, very simply, you'll want to start in the Docs tab of the event. Right away, it does tell you that there are no documents associated with this event. So you want to come over to the right-hand side where it says add a document to this event. And then we'll click our contract and event order template. This is your contract and event order template for this event specifically. Here is where you'll add in any notes for your event and any items that you'd like to charge for. So any special instructions that you'd like to add in, you can add into the text box. And you can also utilize the toolbar at the top if you would like to bold or highlight any information specifically. That way it just really stands out to your team for those special instructions. Any food, beverage, or additional items that you'd like to charge for, we'll add them in for the into the pick list fields. Adding an item in from the pick list, we'll just pull from those pick lists that you have set up in your settings. And adding an item in freehand is like adding it in on the fly. So if we'd like to add an item in from a pick list for our food, we'll just click add from pick list. And we'll select our menu. And it's important to check off any items that you'd like to charge for as well as any headers you'd like to show in your documents. And then we'll click Add Selected Items at the bottom. We'll then want to add in a quantity for any item that we're charging for. So if this is a price per person menu, and maybe we're expecting about 50 guests, we'll add in our quantity of 50, and you can see it totaling out on the right-hand side for us. Same for your beverages, you can add an item in freehand or from a pick list. If you would like to add an on-consumption bar, you'll want to just click add freehand. Maybe we want to have a quantity of one, our description of on-consumption. And we'll leave the price blank for now because we won't know what that is until after the event happens. And then you'll also want to be sure that you assign a category from the category dropdown. That way Triple Seat will know what taxes and fees to apply. And then we'll just click the purple add button. And it really is just a rinse and repeat from here. Um, keep adding items in from a pick list or freehand. Any notes you'd like to relate to your kitchen team is an awesome way to utilize the kitchen notes. Um, so maybe if you want to record for any allergies or dietary restrictions, you can add those in here. As well as any setup notes and billing notes. And 
we have the filling widget, which breaks it out for you by the categories and the total within each category. Following our filling widget, we do have your terms and conditions. So these terms and conditions are pulling from your settings, which we will show you how to edit later on. But you also have the ability to edit these terms and conditions on an event by event basis. So if there was an instance where you needed to make any verbiage changes or remove any items from this, you have the ability to make that edit here. It is a text box that you can click in and make any edits at any time. And whenever we're ready, we'll just click the button that says save on the bottom. And that was pretty much creating documents to share with a guest. Anytime you need to pop back in to make any edits, you want to add additional notes or charges, you just want to click the little gears icon on the right hand side and click edit. That will bring you right back into that template. Now that you have your set of documents created, now you are able to share them. So a good best practice to remember in Triple C is that even though your documents are built from those steps we just completed, the customer, your guests cannot see anything yet. They can only see what you share directly. So let's go ahead and practice sharing the contract. Now, we're gonna point out the share button here on the right hand side. Do know that you have a shortcut here to share any customer facing document by hitting this button. Hitting share, you'll confirm the recipients in the pop-up above. And you will be able to use a wonderful tool we have called discussion email templates. These save you so much time. You can come in here and select a preloaded discussion email template for your discussions in Triple C. That message saved you all that time. You can edit this message and add to it, of course. And you'll check off exactly what document layout you want to share with the customer. You can always add files from your computer directly or from your file library back in settings, photos, floor plans, PDFs. And once you click send, that contract has been sent to your customer. How will you know? You'll see an unshare button on the right hand side of that contract. Now, let's take a look at exactly what this contract looks like. You can always preview a document by clicking on the name of it, and it will open in a new tab for your review. Taking a look at this contract, you'll see all the information we entered, special instructions, menu choices. Terms and conditions here. This is where your customer can select a gratuity. We're gonna go over how to set this up in settings in just a little bit. They can select that gratuity and sign off on that electronically. Now, coming up here, we'll scroll back up on this contract just so you can see that that gratuity was added right to that contract once it was selected by the customer. So these documents are all live in Triple C. They update in real time, so there's no need to reshare them. So let's navigate back to that event in Triple C. Now, a few things to show you. Now, there's some great features with your document layouts. The first is that you will see a sign stamp to show that was signed by the customer. You will receive notifications in the globe icon as well. Now, you do have the capability to revoke a signature. If you click on the sign stamp, we can hit revoke signature and remove that signature at any time to have the customer re-sign it. Now, let's say you wanna save this version of the contract, if you're gonna revoke that signature and have them re-sign it, we're gonna guide you to these three little dots to the right-hand side of that document layout. Because you can save a PDF version of that by hitting the save button. Give us a name. And click save PDF. and you will be able to access the saved versions of each contract right here. Those electronically signed and those saved. Now, just a reminder as well, financials in Triple C. Now, they are tied to the pick list in your template. Payments are gonna be tied to your documents and they are recorded in this tab on the right here. Now, it's important the document always stays accurate and up to date, so the payments tab is as well. Likewise, any payment made will sync over to your document sets and reports. If you do not see a payment in the payments tab, you can always 
click add a payment and see it in the drop down ad. Now, now that we built this set of documents, let's navigate over to your site settings. Oops, sorry. <laughs> So anytime that you would like to update your documents, maybe you need to edit some terms and conditions, add additional fields to your documents, you'll want to do that right from your settings just by clicking the settings button on the bottom left-hand side of your screen. You'll then scroll down under the documents and menu section to the button that says documents. Right in here, we'll click, I'm sorry, here's where we have your contract and event order template that you do fill out on those events as we just did, and it generates these layouts for you to then share with your guests. To edit that template specifically, we just. Sir, uh, can you request to view the contract again? Oh, How totally. Like? Yeah, going back to that. Great question. In our mm -hmm. docs tab, popping back to that contract layout specifically. And the awesome part about our documents here so, if this isn't what your documents look like, um, Triple Seats documents are super customizable for you. So, if there is a field that you want added in, like maybe we have something that you want. Um, feel free to just shoot support a message and we're happy to get those in for you. Yeah, this is our contract. Very basic, all of our charges, billing widget, just like the and terms and conditions. Scroll down, we have very lengthy terms apparently. And here is our signature. Ladies, I'm so sorry to interrupt. Um, we're not able to see the contract layout itself, if you don't mind. Oh. Because of the, That's um, so weird. Oh, that's it's so because weird. it's your sharing tab. Oh. Oh. Share this tab. So this is actually the contract <laughs> layout. So sorry about that. Um, we're new here, if you can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> So here we have that contract layout. So this is exactly what your guests will see when they view that um, live link from their discussion message. If you are set up with online payments, your guests will see that pay online or authorize a card button. If you scroll down a little bit, your guests can see those special instructions. They see that it was highlighted, so we know it stands out a little bit more for them. Food, beverages, billing notes, and our billing widget. And then we have our terms and conditions that we did sign online as well where you can see that. Is that okay? okay. So now we're just gonna pop back to that event. I'm just gonna share this correct tab. All right, awesome. <laughs> so um, as we mentioned before, to access those document settings, you'll just wanna start in your settings, just by clicking settings on the bottom left-hand side of your screen. Then we'll scroll down to the documents and menu section. We'll click where it says documents. And then we'll pop into our contract and event order template to edit the template specifically, just by clicking where it says contract and event order at the top, or you can click edit, oops, edit <laughs> template content on the right. So once we clicked into that edit button, it does bring us to that template specifically. Any items that you put into your overall contract and event order template, will, you will then have the ability to add to your layouts, which you then share with your guest. So here, we want to add in an additional field. Maybe we want to add in a text box for our timeline. We can drag and drop the field on the left-hand side that says text box. And we'll just toss that right into our template. You can then provide it a name so it's easily searchable later on. Just name it timeline. In here, you also have the ability to add in merge fields or any information that you would like to automatically pull onto the timeline text box. Um, so if we wanted to maybe add in what room this would be in, we could say your name and then add in a merge field, which is like a fill in the blank for triple C. So we'll just get that by right clicking on our mouse. Hover over to our event field section, and then we'll scroll down to where it says room name. And then it will pull that room name in that timeline field for us so we don't have to worry about filling it in every time. It's a little bit easier. I 
Oh, another good field is a start and end time. You can add that in. So if you want to do start time, right click again. Event fields, we'll do start time. Same for end time. Here, you also still have the ability to edit any of the text information. So if you'd like to bold any information or highlight it, you can still use this toolbar at the top to bold that. Oh, there we go. And if you'd like to update maybe your terms and conditions, or any existing text box fields, just wanna to scroll to the bottom. Below our billing widget is where your terms and conditions typically are. Your terms and conditions might be in content templates. Um, so we do recommend connecting with support in that case to have some help editing those. But if you have one set of terms and conditions, they'll probably live in this little text box that says terms and conditions. So if you needed to add additional set of terms and conditions, um, if you wanted to add on to it, and Candace are awesome. <laughs> we need that in bold so everybody knows and highlight. And if there was any additional information that you wanted to link to here, maybe you had additional set of you know, policies or whatever that you wanted your guests to physically click on, you can link any information using the chain link button. Some rules, no confetti. No confetti. <laughs> <laughs> and you will want to also be sure that you save your template whenever you're done making changes just by clicking where it says save template at the top. And those changes will show on all newly created events. Now, as you're here in settings, editing the template, everything needs to exist in the template for it to then be on your documents, like your contract or banquet event order. So now we're going to go over how to edit those. So again, updating the template, let's work to add that timeline to the banquet event order. So go into the left-hand toolbar here. You're going to see all your document layouts present here, and we're going to click on that banquet event order. Now, coming into the banquet event order, you're going to see all the different items that are listed here building that document. Again, to the earlier point that we had, all of these are customizable in triple seats. So if you ever need assistance, do not hesitate to hit that helping question button, reach out to our fantastic support team or your designated account manager to help you with those edits. Now, coming in, you're gonna see as you scroll down, we have all these different sections that you can move around, reorganize. Now, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add in that section that we created. So as we scroll in the left-hand toolbar, you're gonna to see all the various layout items on the left, design elements as well. We're gonna keep visiting these as we go forward, but we're gonna add in this timeline section by clicking on it, dragging and dropping it. Now we have that timeline added to our banquet event order. Maybe we wanna add a header, a triple C pro tip we're gonna copy the header from another section and you can customize these, changing the format, font, coloring. And we're gonna click into that timeline section to enable the header. Once that is enabled, you can click into it and add in that header, renaming it. Now we have our timeline section. Nice and added. So when you add in those different sections, just like with that template, a best practice is always hitting save on the top left. Hit it once, hit it twice, hit it three times. You want to <laughs> save it. <laughs> now, something that we want to review with you is how to create a new document layout. Like let's say we want to create an internal banquet event order. The banquet event order we have here is customer facing, it has pricing on it, but we wanna create one for the team that has no pricing on it, but shares that information. You do have the ability on the top left toolbar to duplicate the layout, recover layout sections, or remove it all together. 
do know that these can always be recovered if you do remove a layout section or delete a whole layout. So it's not erased forever, just so you know. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and duplicate layout here. And now we have a banquet event order copy. We're gonna start by clicking layout properties on the top here. And this gives you further customization capabilities. Now we're gonna rename this to be banquet event order internal. Oh, great font there. <laughs> if you have multiple locations on your site, this document can be available for one or multiple or all. Now you can adjust the font, font size. You can make certain document layouts internal only, not customer facing. Margin adjustments, so there's further editing capabilities here. You can even customize the headers and footers of the document layout. We're gonna continue on down and customize these different sections. Maybe we wanna rename this header to say internal banquet event order. Name that. You have what we call a multiple events table here. These can be adjusted as well. Checking off certain columns, you can enable headers, remove them, change the coloring as well. Again, lots of customization capability here. As we scroll down, let's go to some of these picklist sections, for example. Now we have food and beverage here. You can again reorganize and maybe we wanna put food above beverage. You can do so here. And let's say we wanna remove the pricing. So clicking into any pick list section, again, you can do customizations like add a border, show quantity. We're gonna uncheck show price for the purpose of our webinar today. You can align the text in different areas, again, change the fonts. But once we remove that pricing, it's no longer available on this document. We're gonna repeat the same step for beverage And down below, we're going to keep scrolling down. And you're going to see the billing section. Maybe we don't want this on this document. We can click on any section and remove it. Hitting the red trash can, remove field button above. We're going to do the same for this text box. And maybe those page breaks since we don't need it anymore. Again, once you go through creating that document layout, you're going to hit save layout on the top left. Now we're next gonna take a look at the contract just so we can see that on the back end here in settings. Clicking on that contract. You can see we're first gonna take a look at the gratuity selector as we scroll down. Again, we have those pick list sections, billing and terms and conditions here. Now, again, you have all these different layout items and feet design elements on the left. So as we scroll down, now, we have that gratuity selector. Now, we, we do permit one gratuity selector per set of documents. So what we're gonna do is click into this gratuity selector. You can adjust the header of that, rename that if preferred, add that description, the text on the button itself. We do especially wanna highlight that you can have selectable amounts. So right now we have 20, 22, 24%. You can adjust this at any time. Maybe we want it to be 18 instead of 20. You also do, can remove, and maybe have only one to two offerings. You can also check off to allow for a custom entry, which is great. So if you want your customers to be able to add a custom amount, maybe higher than that 24%, you can allow that as well. Now let's pretend that we're the customer and we you know, sign off on that contract, we select the gratuity, you can check off to have it automatically applied to the event. If you do not want that, you also have the ability to uncheck that and have an internal approval of that gratuity if it is selected by the customer. Now we have the client signature here, but let's say we wanna add a venue signature. We're gonna add some design elements to the document layout. Maybe we're gonna add a two column container. So we can go over what this will look like. And maybe we're gonna move that client signature. It's gonna be on the left-hand side. We can also add a secondary signature, dropping that in. And we're gonna bring it into the two column container first. Again, we're doing a lot of dragging and dropping here, so there's a lot of customization. <laughs> but let's click on this electronic signature. 
we click on it, you can rename this. Maybe it's a venue signature. You can also edit that button text and you can require that it's only signable by staff. So it can only be signable by a user of your triple seed site. Now, one other item that we can add that you're gonna see in here is a page break. So you can add in a page break from the left-hand side here and that will divide up the PDF as you print it. So for example, if we scroll up here, you're gonna see that there's a page break between the billing widget and the terms and conditions on this document layout. That means the terms and conditions will print on a whole second page, make it nice and clean for you and your customers printing that document layout. Once again, once we've made any edits to that document layout, we're gonna hit save on the left. Now the last best practice we have for you, always remember when you create a new document layout in Triple Seed, such as that internal banquet event order, always make sure that you go back into settings, use rules and grant your team members access to that new document layout once it's created. It'll make that available to them as they navigate your site, go through their events and reference that document without that pricing for them to use. All right, awesome. So to edit that setting, we'll just start from our settings and user roles. And it is important to note that only customer admins have access to the setting. So you may need to reach out to a customer admin to have this updated. And we'll just edit the general user for this scenario. And then we'll just scroll down to the bottom with our user roles. Um, it is really just as simple as checking off we want them to have access to. So we can see that we have that internal banquet event order recently created. So we'll just want to check that one off and click update. And that is the majority of the material yeah. we want to review today. Again, you know, this was a deep dive into document settings. Our documents are very customizable for you to cater to exactly the business needs that you have. Um, any questions, our support team hitting that helping question button. If you have a question, nice and straightforward there on that <laughs> button. We have some great resources for you. Do not hesitate to go to the knowledge base of articles, frequently asked questions. We have our tutorial videos on YouTube as well. And hitting contact support, we have our chat feature for a quick question. And you can submit a help ticket for a more in-depth question. And I just want to add that they're an award-winning support team. So you know that you're dealing with the good people there. Mm -hmm. And we thank all of you for joining us today. And again, any questions you have can be posted in the chat. And the recording of this call will be sent to you via email going to tomorrow.